low hanging fruit. Perhaps someone has encouraged you to go for the low hanging fruit first. In other words, to finish tasks that are easiest before moving on. Selling to existing customers is low hanging fruit. We need to work on getting new customers, your manager might say during a marketing meeting. If you're telling your teenager to clean up their room, the low hanging fruit are the clothes on the ground. Pick them up first. Now that you've mastered the basics, the low hanging fruit, it's time to learn advanced techniques, your teacher might tell the class. As you can tell, the idiom low hanging fruit means tasks, steps, or goals that are easy to accomplish. Literally speaking, a fruit bearing tree has fruit hanging from all branches, and for animals that don't fly, the low hanging fruit is easiest to get. Unfortunately, high hanging fruit is not an idiom used to describe harder tasks, steps, or goals. From a psychological perspective, it is best to go for low hanging fruit first so that your early successes encourage you to keep on going and build momentum for harder tasks. If you are new to rock climbing, for example, you'd want to climb low cliffs first. Once you get enough experience and practice, you'd move on to taller cliffs. Suppose you are a new piano player. You should start off by playing nursery rhymes with one hand, and after a lot of practice, you can move on to harder pieces. Easy pickings is an idiom that is related to low hanging fruit. You can imagine either of them being used to describe a tree in which ripe fruit hangs within easy reach of your hands. Idioms that are metaphors for ancient human activities, in this case, picking fruit. Are very common. Though low hanging fruit really took off in the early 1990s amongst marketing folk. Start with the low hanging fruit. Cut sugary drinks out of your diet. Your friend might give you advice on eating healthily. Perhaps you and a group of friends are on vacation. We should start with the low hanging fruit. Let's visit the famous landmarks first. Your best investment is to pay off your credit card balances first. The low hanging fruit, your financial advisor might tell you. Whatever goals, projects, or tasks you find yourself involved in, don't forget that picking the low hanging fruit first is a good strategy.